Hello. Oh, I would actually like to see Buddy Holly because he's such a nice young lad, you know. He's been around for an awfully long time and he's died on course at such a young age, but he's such a such a beautiful musician and he came over to to my country and we loved him so much. You know, he was such so nice, it's like taking away much too young. But I like I like to see him, so so we quite enjoyed Buddy Holly life. It's quite a good group, you know? So do come and see them, they're quite good. Well, you know, I remember when I was younger, back, back in the late 50s, we got a chance to go out and see Buddy Hell Alive. But unfortunately, I got my foot stuck in the fence when I was trying to cross over to see the concert for free. And then, of course, and I never did see it. So, you see, uh, I pretty much had no choice now because. Uh, a couple of weeks later, I heard he done getting a plane crash and he killed himself real bad, you know. So, uh, best chance I got of, of seeing Buddy Holly now is go out and see those Buddy Holly live guys. I see them on YouTube, they're kind of funny. But, you know, it's not a bad show. I, maybe I'll take some friends to come out and see that. You know, it's kind of a, it looks like a kind of entertaining show. I remember the Buddy Holly show from 1958. Uh, I come back, I see them long time ago in Montreal, but they never come back. Something about a plane and uh, I never see them again. So uh, one day I look on the YouTube, I see the Buddy Holly live. I think to myself, not, uh, hey, that's not too bad of a show. You know, perhaps I come, uh, you know, one time I look in arena. Normally I'm in arena, I'm sitting there screaming, he shoot the buck, his car. But, uh, you know, if a buddy only live come to my town, perhaps uh, I come out and uh, bring in the friend and we go see the show. Looks like a pretty good show. So you go, uh, you take my word for it. Uh, probably not, not a bad show to see. You know, normally I don't like buddy only tribute acts. And they came to Melbourne in 1957. Uh, now, maybe it was March of 1958. Yeah, but, but, you know, uh, I don't normally like to see tribute eggs like that because they just you know it's, it's kind of fake you know it's not real and I thought well oh, maybe I'll have a look at this buddy only live thing it's not too bad you know I, so I thought you know well maybe I'll take the family out see it good show liked it liked it a lot it's pretty good stuff you know so if you ever down in if you ever down in Oz you know think about it it's not a bad idea I enjoyed fortune it's about the Harley show I thought it was very good I thought it was a sensitive portrayal and quite so you know it, uh, it was uh, it was amusing and uh, we, we, my my wife and I we took it in and we you know get, we left the, we, we left the Schnitzel house and uh, we came down and watched the, the show and uh, we were quite satisfied that uh, it was a sensitive portrayal of a fairly good uh, you know good show so I, I recommend possibly you could see the the party hall. I don't think I ever seen anything so ridiculous in my life. Just weren't real, you know, just real, really, just not, there's there nothing to it. I let these guys pretending themselves to be people from places they ain't doing shows about, about a historical figure who, who died tragically in an airplane crash and they think they're funny and they had humor in there I ain't there trying to play all them their songs and they don't look nothing like it and this guy's voice so darn deep sounds more like a uh, uh, toad cross with Elvis Presley and they call themselves Buddy Holy Life. I wouldn't waste my time on them. I come in inside to have some spaghetti and a little bit of Chianti. You know, I hear my son on the computer. He's playing some uh, about the Holy Life. You know, I can remember many years ago uh, in Rome, uh, Buddy Holly come, he, he played uh, this uh, cricket music. You know, I said, like, I think uh, it doesn't sound like an insect, it sounds like a rock and roll from America. I, I don't know, I listen to the computer, I listen to this, what is this YouTube thing? Uh, not bad. I, I think to myself, I, I would watch. If I come to Italy, I'm gonna think it might not be a bad idea. I might, maybe, I, maybe I go have a look, okay, you know? So I don't know, I can't say. Last time I hear about Buddy Holly, Khrushchev was in power. It was long time before Russia, part of USSR, Soviet Socialist Republic. Mr. Holly not make it over to our part of the world. I come over, I find a way to stow away with my wife and we stow away in boat and we come across the ocean. I come to part of America, I go over, I get a chance to see Buddy Holly in Buffalo. Very good, I must say. 
So I'm thinking to myself, if I get other chance, uh, maybe I will go. It's uh, not bad, you know, I listen to it, uh, I will think. Maybe. You know, I'm, I'm kind of concerned about my family, so I'm thinking the body how I show it's kind of a family-oriented show. So, you know, I might take my family and see it. It feels like the kind of entertainment that people would, you know, they would enjoy. You go out for an afternoon to see these guys. And they're kind of funny. And there's that Marty guy and he holds the bass. And, and they went around and the Stuart guy. Yeah, the Sammy boy. He's so funny on the drums. You know, it's so, such a lovely tone voice. So, and, and that Buddy with the glasses, well, he doesn't look anything like Buddy Holly, but they seem like nice boys, so I think I take my family to see this Buddy Holly live show and seems fairly safe, you know, good family entertainment. You know, there's so many more things you can do, like uh, in New York, than to go to see a show that's already been here 50 years ago. Uh, you know, uh, Buddy Holly's already been here before, so I don't know. Uh, I talked to the family, I talked to my brother Angelo, and maybe talked to Louie, but you know, uh, we've seen this stuff before. But I mean, I didn't mind what I saw on the YouTube. Not too bad, but you know, uh, I'm going to have to think about it. Well, you know, the man's already had a life before, so I don't know if I want to sit down for three hours and watch something that's already happened, but, you know, uh, I, like, I wouldn't walk 500 miles to see these boys, but, you know, if they were ever to come down, and maybe if they were in Edinburgh or Glasgow, I might consider bringing my aunt, you know, and maybe we'll go down and have a look at them. From what I could see on the internet, it's not bad, you know, but that takes an accent. And the boy, you know... <laughs> Not, not really looking a little bit like Buddy Holly. Not the one I remember anyway, but in 58, you know. But overall, I thought, I thought it was not too bad, you know. So I might consider it. Plane crash? What? Babe, he ain't, he's dead? He, you mean the stuff I've been watching on the internet the whole time? It's just a, just a recreation of cheap, tragic copy of what used to be? Oh, Lord, I should have read the paper. I wish I'd known. Seems like a complete waste of time to be watching this thing. I'm too busy going to be mourning. I gotta go now. I'm just too broken up. I can't talk no more. Come a little bit closer, Michael. I want to talk to you about body alley life. Uh, it's my understanding that uh, these boys are uh, encroaching on... Uh, on a business. Uh, from what I understand, uh, uh, they're doing this uh, portrayal of uh, like uh, some kind of buddy hardy thing, and uh, I don't know if we're getting a cut, you know. So I want you to have a look at this. Uh, it's Rockabilly Otis. Say, hey, uh, there's a uh, some site on there, and I, I, I don't know, you know. I, I don't know the way I feel about this thing. Maybe we should meet and talk with the family about this, you know. I mean, there's only so much room out there in the market, and. Uh, you know, I don't remember. I don't remember them uh, talking to us about uh, about territories. You know, so uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I like the show. Though. It's not too bad. You know, but uh, I think we should talk to these boys. So let me get this straight. You're telling me that Buddy Holly Live is a carefully disguised window to allow us to travel back in time, and that. Rockabilly Otis has found a way to to get through from 1958, 1959 till now. Wow, that's amazing. And it all started because of YouTube. Wow.